Good evening, everyone, and welcome. We are going to be talking about hunger and about eat, being able to eat less calories. So the information in this article or in this presentation is actually based on an article by Dr. by Health Realization. It's the seven top tips to feel full faster so that you can consume less calories. We realize you can have lots of questions and Dr. Udani is here to help answer any of them. Feel free to give her a text. I wanted to welcome Dr. Danny here with us this evening. She is our licensed uh, naturopathic doctor here at Justine Blaney Wellness Center. Um, she is super passionate in um, a variety of different areas, including stress, chronic um, pain, digestion. Oh my goodness, digestion. <laughs> she can talk a lot. And uh, skin conditions. And she really loves working with individuals from all backgrounds and genuinely believes that everyone has the ability to make healthy, long-lasting changes. Please help me welcome Dr. Danny. Good evening, everybody. Today we have an amazing talk coming up, but at first I want to talk about some of our upcoming webinars that we hope you can join. So we have ones with uh, Dr. Justine. We have ones with some of our staff at the clinic. So for example, we have some exercise uh, demonstrations coming to loosen our hip flexors. We have Dine with the Doc. We're going to talk about arthritis, natural ways to reduce pain. Reduce pain. And this is a registration required event. You can talk to our front desk if you're interested with this. This is an in-person uh, session. We also have a, a talk on uh, how can we lose muscle mass as we age and things we can do to stop and prevent it. And then we also have one with Eric about shoulder mobility, um, who's our kinesiologist. So lots of exciting things coming up this month. So today we're going to dive deep into uh, this really exciting topic about the seven top tips to feel full faster so that way you're consuming less calories. And, you know, this is a big thing, especially if you're struggling with weight weight loss, you know, you're, you're gaining too much weight too fast and you're not sure what to do. These are some easy to do tips that are generally healthy and you can do adapt them easily. And um, of course, you know, if you're needing extra help, we're here for you. Um, myself, as well as our holistic nutritionist, Sabine, uh, can really help with that weight loss if that is a goal for you too. So, Let's dive in. So I'm sure you might have had a day when your stomach just feels like a bottomless pit, you know, and no matter how you, uh, what you did, what you ate, you just don't feel satisfied. Like you feel like I, you want to keep eating, you know, um, it's been only two hours since you ate last time, but then you just feel the hunger pangs or you just don't feel full. So um, and this might have just been an off day for you, or you might have been feeling this way for a long time now, and you know the weight just keeps piling on. So let's find out some tips to figure out how to cut this down, cut down your appetite, and so you feel more full with less amount of food. So the first tip, tip is to eat more fiber. So fiber is amazing. It is not only good for your health, it is great for cutting down your risk of heart disease, type 2 diabetes, your cholesterol, and it's just a very easy way that our, you can bulk up your food. So there are two different kinds of fiber. There's insoluble fiber and soluble fiber, okay? One is tends to be more like roughage. So, you know, the things that you can grab from the veggies, like things like celery, kale, uh, rapini, you know, the, uh, the rough uh, you know, things that not are necessarily digested, but it helps bulk up our stool. And so it can also help trap excess cholesterol, lower blood sugar, and keep you full faster. Soluble fiber is more what's more found in your grains, your lentils. Um, you know, it's also the actual, um, like the fruits and veggies. And uh, they even things like flaxseed, chia seed. So these are really good for, once again, lowering your cholesterol, make you feel full, full. And it is just an amazing addition that you should have in your diet. So how much fiber do you really need? Let's figure out. So there is, you know, what, like I said before, fiber gives you a lot of volume. So even with the one bowl, you feel full for a lot longer than let's say you were having a bowl of chips, you know, and because it takes longer to digest, that's why you, you feel fuller. 
And also it tends to absorb water towards it. So you feel fuller because of that too. So how much fiber do you really need in a day? So the standard recommendation is you need about 30 grams of fiber a day. And you know, a lot of us don't necessarily get this much because you know, we're eating, we tend to eat on the go or we tend to eat more of the fast foods or processed foods. So a 30, 30 grams of fiber can be, um, you know, uh, I always say to have it as like half of your plate full of vegetables or you have, you know, half a serving of, sorry, one serving of fiber is, for example, a half a cup of lentils. Okay, so you need about three, four to five of these servings a day. So, you know, it could be half a cup of lentils or a bowl of steamed veggies. It could be, um, you know, you could have snacks, like for example, hummus, you know, it's very high in chickpeas, which are high in uh, fiber. You can add in um, different um, fruits, like berries, pears, you know, uh, bananas are great as well. Avocados, whole grains, so even things like oatmeal can contain a high amount of fiber, especially if it's steel cut oats. And, you know, um, lots and lots of vegetables is the key to having fiber. And of course, another one is adding in hemp seeds or flax seeds. So you don't need too much of this. You can have just two to three tablespoons of hemp seeds or flax seeds in your smoothies. This can really help with increasing your fiber intake. Let's go into trick number two. And so you're eating the fiber and you know with fiber you want to have water okay so because if you have too much fiber without enough water you might experience constipation because fiber tends to really you know make you feel full but it can also clog up the the you know your digestive tract a bit so you have to make sure you drink lots of water and also you eat foods that contain lots of water because once again this is going to make you feel fuller for longer so high fiber foods, you know, um, and gives you like make you feel full without the calories. For example, grapefruit is a fruit that has 90% water. Even things like watermelon has, you know, way more water than the actual amount of calories. So you can tend to go for those items to make you feel fuller for longer compared to, let's say, um, a, a bowl of chips once again versus um, a bowl of grapefruit or a bowl of watermelon lot more water there and you're going to feel fuller faster too. And so loading up on the veggies and fresh fruit, you know, even things like soup, you know, things like lentil soup or vegetable soup, there's a lot of water in that. So it helps you and also fiber there, right, with the lentil. So it helps you feel fuller for longer. And so you're not getting your cravings are cut down and you're also not having as many calories and it controls your, your appetite. Now, this is also a great way to boost your hydration, you know, because a lot of us don't tend to drink a lot of water unless it's right in front of us. You know, I always have to counsel my patients about, you know, how much water they should be drinking. Even myself, I have a, you know, a little mug of water here because we do need water. And a lot of times our hunger is actually a result of dehydration. So we're not drinking enough water. So our brain is trying to get that water from food so it can send signals of hunger to make you uh, get that water too. So this is a great, uh, another great healthy trick for um, cutting down your appetite. Number three is take your time when you eat. So a lot of us tend to be on the go, you know, when you're when we're having breakfast or lunch or dinner, we tend to eat while we're in front of the computer or TV or on our phones. And we sometimes like, you know, we eat a whole plate of food and we don't realize we ate it within 10 minutes because, you know, we're just so used to just wolfing it down. Now, when this, what happens when this, when we do this is our body just doesn't get the signals it needs to realize that we're full because it can take up to 20 minutes for our bodies to realize, okay, we are full and we send the signal from the stomach to the brain saying enough, no more eating. So we want to make sure that we take our time. So we chew slowly, eat slowly um, so that we actually really take our time to sit down and enjoy the meal. And that can help us feel fuller faster too. Healthy trick number four is making sure you eat protein with every meal. So protein is such an amazing nutrient because first of all, it 
builds up your muscle mass. So when you're working out, you're burning fat faster. It helps you feel fuller longer. It takes uh, your body takes a while to break down a protein compared to you know your carbs. So it takes energy to break down your protein and absorb it. And you know it helps with so many. It helps with your blood sugar and it just really helps make you feel fuller for longer. One of my tricks is to actually when you're having a meal, have your protein first, have your veggies first, and then leave the carbs for a little bit later. That way you actually have, um, you know, you feel fuller because of because the fact that you had that protein. So there are many different ways that you can add protein into your diet. So things like adding it into breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack. So one of the ways you can do it is adding in hard boiled eggs, um, you know, adding in like a, a bowl of nuts or cheese. I usually say a thumb size amount of cheese per day is not a bad idea, but of course be aware if you are, you know, sensitive to dairy, you can stick to more of the eggs or the nuts, or even if you're on the vegan vegetarian side, you can have lentils. They're a great source of protein, high proteins, things like chickpeas, beans, you know, they're very good. And even if you are, if you can even try protein shakes, I often tell my patients, if you're having trouble having this much protein a day, you can just have a protein shake because that can just really help with getting that protein into your body without you struggling to eat a lot of meat or a lot of lentils. So that's another great uh, tip for increasing your protein amount. Okay, trick number five is having smaller amounts of portions. So. Like I said before, you know, when we're in front of the computer or we're on the go and we have a big meal, sometimes we just don't even know and we finish it all. But if you have a, a smaller portion, you tend to eat only that amount, right? You're not going to feel like you wolf down a big plate. So, you know, and so there's been some studies that show that even though the portion was smaller, you still felt, you still felt fuller compared to having, you know, a bigger a plate. And, you know, uh, another tip is, you know, we want to make sure when we're having the smaller portion that you want to eat it slowly. So chew slowly. Ideally, don't eat in front of a screen or, you know, in front of um, like a computer or any distractions. Like really be mindful when you're eating and chewing slowly and thoroughly as well. Another good tip is to eat on a blue plate or blue colored, um, you know, bowl or things like that, because, you know, in nature, there's not a lot of blue foods. So it tends to actually can also curb our appetite because our brain doesn't really identify blue color with hunger versus, you know, red or yellow. And, you know, you see a lot of fast food chains have more red color, yellow color, because it's trying to, you know, trick your brain into eating more because of that too. So, Smaller portions, portions will, of course, help with your blood sugar spikes as well. So, and of course, if you're having some protein in this meal, you're going to feel way, um, way more fuller and the blood sugar is not going to rise as quickly and fall as quickly. So it's a great way to manage your cravings and also cut down the calories. Healthy trick number six is limiting your choices. So I'm sure, you know, many of us have gone to a buffet and there's so many options that, you know, you just want to have everything, right? You get a plate full of everything, maybe even two or three plates because it's just so many options that you want to try them all. And what that does is, of course, you know, our, our, we just want to try it all. So we get, we eat so many calories through that way too. So Basically, what you can do is, you know, if you feel compelled to try a little bit of everything and then you end up eating a lot more. So what can you do is try to cut down the, uh, the options that you have, you know, at home. So even for myself, let's say if I have um, chocolates and chips and cookies and cake in, in my, you know, cupboard uh, and I have a bit of a sweet tooth, so I will probably eat bits of all of that. But if I were to just have maybe dark chocolate in my cupboard because I didn't go shopping for all of that stuff, I will probably just end up eating the chocolate, you know, when I'm bored or I need a little pick me up. So having too many options and especially unhealthy options in your fridge can be um, a big, big, big um, um, 
it, it can just really trigger your hunger and your cravings. So, and what you can do is actually increase limiting your, those unhealthy choices and increasing your healthy choices in, in your kitchen. So for example, have more fruits, you know, have more water, have more healthier options like hummus, you know, that kind of stuff that, that way you, even if you are hungry and you want to try a little bit of everything, you're going to go for the healthier options first. And when you're making a meal at home, let's say for Thanksgiving or, you know, a, a celebration, instead of having a bunch of different dishes, you can just have a few tried and true tested dishes. That way you have, you feel full, it's healthier, and you don't feel like you're going for everything. And another good uh, trick here, let's say you are in a buffet situation or you are, you know, um, going to a function or a celebration is to have a little bit of protein or a bit of a meal first before you go to these events because that way you're you're feeling more full so you're less likely to eat a bunch of stuff you know grab a full plate and if you're at a buffet and you want to get your money's worth you want to go get the protein first you know the meats and the meats are going to make you feel fuller faster anyways and then you're not going to be going going for the heavy carby um items so those are some some tricks to do. And of course, limiting your choices at home can really go a long way to cutting down your those hunger pains. Last trick is think about your food. So this is something I was just talking to the whole time is, you know, when we're distracted, like driving, watching TV, we're just standing in the kitchen counter, just not really being in the moment, in the present time, and just not being mindful of what we're eating, we tend to eat a lot more. Like I'm sure, you know, you had a, you know, a time where you're just on the phone or you're watching a show and you're eating and eating and all of a sudden a whole bag of chips are done, you know? So, and then you just feel guilty about it too. Cause, and then you then an hour later, you might be craving popcorn or something else again. So it's really important to think about your food when you're eating and be mindful of it because then that way, you get to really see the portions of the food that you're eating, what you're eating, how much water you're drinking, because um, that really helps send signals to your brain to say this is enough. It's time for time to you know send those uh, satiety signals, signals saying that I'm full, and it just kind of really helps you also train your 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 food habits. That way, you're going for the healthier options. You're more mindful of what you're eating. Something that I also tell my patients is to um, do a diet diary. So a seven-day diet diary. So what you eat, breakfast, lunch, dinner, so that you're also mindful of what, how much you're eating and what you're actually eating. Because sometimes we forget, you know, we don't really, we don't really know what we ate two days ago or three days ago, because it's, it's just kind of not something we're kind of keeping in mind. But if we keep a diet diary, we can really see the amount of food we eat and how the quality of the food you're eating too. And of course, if this is something that you are struggling with, you know, there is help. Please refer to a team. You know, this is great to have someone that you can be accountable to on your team and to help you uh, down uh, this kind of um, weight loss journey as well. And also just for healthy overall lifestyle living. So this is a this is why I want to mention the team is because you know I'm I have a focus in digestive health, energy, and weight loss, and same with Sabine as well, who is our registered holistic nutritionist. So you can of course book a um, meet and greet with any of us if you feel called to, and because you know we want to help you um, and also help you adapt some of these healthy tricks uh, into your life better. So this is, so that was our um, seven amazing tricks for making you feel fuller faster to help you with dealing with those hunger pangs, those cravings and helping with the appetite. So hopefully if you're able to even adapt one of those habits, you'll notice that it does help a lot down the, down the line. So, you know, uh, like Dr. Justine mentions, like I always say to have one habit a day that you change and at the end of the year you have 52 or sorry, one habit a week, you have 52 different habits that you have adapted and your whole life could be different. So here are some of our upcoming webinars that we're going to come, we're going to, you know, do more. We have ones on hip flexors and how to loosen them. We have Dine with Doc coming up on arthritis, natural ways to reduce pain. 
how we lose muscle mass as we age, how we're going to figure out how to stop that or prevent that. And of course, you know, working on some shoulder mobility with Eric. So these are some amazing upcoming webinars and I hope you connect with us either on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, our website. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to hear uh, your feedback. And of course, if you have any other uh, ideas that you want us to talk in, in these talks, please also let us know. We'd love to get your feedback. Thank you so much for connecting with us today. And we hope you have an amazing rest of your night. Thank you, Dr. Utani, for everything. Have a great week, everybody. Have a great week, everyone.